We're brake testing these 316 stainless steel M10 hole hangers. They're rated a 30 KN and they're manufactured in China. We're gonna do a direct pull on this hanger. Here's our hanger. At 42.79 on that. Here's our second one, direct pull. At 45.66. Here's our hanger. This bolt we're testing are 70 millimeters long. They're uh, M10 316. The uh, bolt pulled out of our hole, 33.56. Bolt broke, 48.32. Uh, bolt pulled out, almost 39 on that. Testing with these 80 millimeter long M10 wedge bolts. Oh, what the heck was that? Are you sure you put it in the right hole? It's an M10 hole. You sure? Yeah. So the whole bolt pulled out of the hole at like 3.17 kN. Uh, we torqued this nut to 20 foot pounds and it kind of like already eaten up some of the thread here. Uh, clip's a little bent from me kind of trying to get the nut off, but uh, we'll, we're going to use this hole and uh, brush and blow it a little better and see if that was a problem, but that one was brush and blown. Uh, we're going to reuse the old bolt that pulled out during our tension test at 3KN. So the bolt partly pulled and we had a little bit of rock failure near the surface. 30.60. Bolt pulled out of the hole. 31.72. that flew and whacked me on the neck and cut me a little. Bolt broke, hanger's still hanging in there. We're at 34.63. Here's our bolt and hanger. Uh, we got a lot of extra friction you can see here and where the soft shackle was grinding. Which explains the 47.75. Thirty-six point four three on that. So our brake results for this hanger were all above the stated thirty kN MBS. Uh, regards the wedge bolts, uh, we got overall above thirty kN too. Also, the size and thickness of these hangers are almost identical to Shawa's Tebilon hanger.